Hi guys, how's it going? How's life in lockdown treating you? Um, today I'm back with another scooter tech review vlog and it's the sequel, or at least the update, to my favourite scooter of all time, the E-Tau GT 2019 version. And this, my friends, is the 2020 version. Now you must forgive me if you get a sense of deja vu during this review because I will be reusing some of the footage from my 2019 review because basically the two GT models are the same freaking scooter except this one has got a brake gaffered on the handlebars and that's basically the main difference but there are a few others as well so let's look at those differences first <laughs> Under the hood, the E2 GT is powered by a new 700 watt motor and a 48 volt 10.5 amp hour battery with Samsung cells. Put these together and it's capable of carrying you as fast as 40 kilometers an hour and in ideal conditions, you could reach up to 50 kilometers without needing to charge. Very impressive for such a portable scooter like this. The GT is buttery smooth and quiet to ride. Even though it's got hard rubber tyres, the excellent dual suspension smooths out any minor cracks and bumps in the road, no problem. The suspension's so good in fact, you can even use it off-road. And even though the scooter can handle it, my camera can't. Right, let's get down to business. The new Etau GT has a new physical brake, thank gosh, because my biggest gripe about the 2019 version was that the braking was a little bit garbage. The scooter was so fast, yet it relied purely on an e-brake system. Now, this one keeps the e-brake system, if you like that, but you can also use it in conjunction with the physical brake, the drum brake at the back for extra stopping power. But let's see if it makes a tangible difference in the brake test. Okay, so there's a stomp brake at the back, but who really uses a stomp brake these days? The display remains the same, and as you can see, it's not the brightest display in the world, but it does the job. Like it or lump it, the handlebars also remain the same, which are the same narrow handlebars, but look, they fold away, which is great. Annoyingly, the one with the brake lever on, it just doesn't fold away anymore. The symmetry's all gone. It's become a bit of a limp wrist. What is convenient though is the handlebars also retract down inside which is great for riders of different heights and for storage. Oh and that drum brake is housed neatly in this plastic covering and um, which you can get to by removing this cover in order to adjust the brake. Now I know what you're thinking, these look like nifty side lights don't they? Well unfortunately they don't work. Um, but they have added a few reflectors on the side to make up for it. The base plate has also had a bit of a facelift, added this nice little shiny detail here. It's not the widest base plate in the world, but for me, it's fine because I can get both my feet in parallel, which is how I ride. And uh, to prevent stem shake, E2 have also added a lock, a stem lock, which I don't think was on the 2019 version, but as you can see, it'll hold the stem more firmly in place. But to be honest, I have yet to use it because I forgot it was there. The battery charge cover is still kind of a flimsy plastic, so be careful of that when you're riding. Uh, uh, uh. A slight caveat of having that extra brake means we've got another exposed wire, so you might just want to be careful of that. And we also have the same eight and a half inch hard rubber tires, very slim. You wonder how they hug the road so well, but they, they, they do. And at least you're not gonna get a puncture with these bad boys. And thank the scooter gods, they've added a blooming kickstand. And speaking of folding, this thing couldn't be easier. You fold down the handlebars, Nudge on the folding mechanism and hey presto, you can do it in like two seconds. And it's pretty light. The GT in its folded form has clearly been on a very good diet. It's very, very slim. In fact, it's so small and portable, you can pretty much store it anywhere. I like to keep mine in the washing machine. Perfect. In the fridge. Or just stick it down your pants. Perfect. And you don't need to be Albert Einstein to fold it up either. The suspension on this baby is as good as ever. I can't stress enough how good the suspension is on this scooter. It really does a great job at ironing out the bumps and the creases in the road. It will save your lower back, even if the scooter does have rubber tires. <sighs> I've got some bad news to tell you guys. If you thought this was the perfect scooter, it really isn't. Listen to this. 
Get out the way! And if you're anything like me, young, handsome and single and spend more time with your scooter than any girl... Then you'll appreciate having one of these. It's a hook so you can hang your shopping on it when you're going shopping alone to Tesco with your scooter and not a girlfriend. <laughs> All right, Ben, we get the picture. The scooter's good. It's got a lot of gadgets and gizmos, but that means nothing if the build quality is a load of tart. Well, thankfully, it's not. It really is a quite a premium product. It's well-built, slim, sexy, streamlined. I mean, sounds a lot like me, really. <laughs> And that's about it really, I think I've covered pretty much everything. Should we do some random tests to find out if it's any good? Okay. Okay, here comes Fox with the front e-brake only, 15.5 miles per hour. Oh, but as you can see, not a great performance there. But surely the new physical brake will make up for it. Oh no, he's overshot the mark. He's not happy with that, hit the crossbar on that one. But he's dusting himself off and giving it another go. Oh, he's only gone and put the two together. Look at that, a far more respectable braking distance back of the net and what a celebration. But he's not finished, he's added the stunt brake as well. They thought it was all over. It is now. Okay guys, quite surprising results there. The disc brake actually wasn't very effective by itself. I just flew right off the screen. Um, but when coupled with the e-brake, it's much, much more effective using those two in conjunction. And then you can even use the stomp brake if you get desperate to shorten the braking distance a little bit more. But um, I have to say today the ground is a little bit damp, it's a little bit wet, so not ideal conditions. But overall, that inclusion of the physical disc brake on the back when coupled with the e-brake is, is pretty good. So, as you can see, speed-wise, this puppy is no slouch. It may be small, it may be slim, it may be light, but we hit 25 miles per hour there, and not for one second did I feel unsafe. You may think with those narrow wheels and kind of small scooter you'd feel unsafe, but it's just so smooth and so steady. It's like, it's like one of those things they ride on Star Wars. What are they called? What are they called? I, I can't remember, but you know that they float and just go shoom. That's what it feels like. Comment below if you know what I'm talking about. Now, I don't know about you, but I can feel self-conscious on an e-scooter at the best of times, especially when they're noisy, but listen. This one is quiet as a mouse. Right guys, I found an even steeper hill than the last hill and I've only got 30% battery but I want to show you how well this scooter handles hills even with low battery. So off we go, off we go and with no hesitation we are flying up this really quite steep hill, really steep hill, oops, sorry, and there we go, oh, oops, sorry, and uh, there you go. So. In addition to that last hill test, you can see even at a low battery, this scooter manages to get up the hill with no bother. A lot of other scooters would have struggled on the hill, especially at a low battery. But this one, we're still going. A few moments later. Excuse me, cows, I'm in the middle of a range test here. Do you mind? Whew. So come aside, eat now, get with the flow. Favorite electric scooter anthem is now available to download on Spotify and iTunes. Hashtag hard sell. Okay, that's it. She's out of juice. Range test is over. Good news though, I can push with no resistance. I can push it like a normal scooter so I can push myself home. Let's see how far we got. Okay, 21.8 kilometers came to 13.5 miles of range. And that might not sound a lot to a lot of you out there, but you can get a hell of a lot further if you reduce the speed limit. There's five modes of speed on this scooter and I would always ride at 15.5 miles an hour on the previous version. 
mainly because of the electronic brake. I just didn't trust the braking distance, but now with this new better braking, I do feel more confident to ride at faster speeds. But for battery preservation, I would also probably knock it down to 15.5 miles per hour. Same as electric bike, fast enough for inner city commuting. But if you're out here in the country, you might want to go faster and uh, you've got the speed on this scooter. But the great thing about the range on this scooter is the performance didn't suffer. Even when we got to 0% battery, you say 0% battery, I was still hitting 35 kilometers an hour on the display, which is amazing. A little pet hate of mine, as you'll have seen from previous videos, as the battery life drops, so does the performance. And that really, really bugs me, especially if your scooter has a low speed limit, like the 9Bot Max. But I'm not going to waffle on. In summary, this is my boosted board. If I was Casey Neistat, this would be my boosted board. It may not have an app for cruise control and the horn is a waste of time. It may be a little bit small for a lot of people, but for me, this is my near perfect scooter, finally. So to finish off, I'm going to show you a clip from the previous review, which sums up why I love this style of scooter so much and why it's my daily rider. Have a watch. There you have it guys, the best scooter is the scooter that you've got with you and quite often I've got this scooter with me and that's why I like it so much. Whew, that's it, I'm done, I'm going home, I'm going to get something to eat. If you want to know more about the scooter please use those links below and drop me a comment whilst you're there, thumbs up, like, subscribe, all the usual stuff and just maybe I'll see you in the next one.